Hello everyone and welcome back to the Acumen channel. Today we're going to be reviewing the Lebanese Kits KN95. These masks are manufactured in China and they come in a box of 50 for $19.99. The Amazon listing also has a 4.3 out of 5 rating with over 2,000 reviews. So let's go ahead and open this box up. They come all in a plastic bag. And these are a trifold style similar to the KF94s. So right off the bat, these do have a very rough outer layer. They're also very thin and the inside is also not as soft as other masks. So this one seems to have a hole right here. Yep. So let's go ahead and take a look at another one. This is how they're supposed to look right here. And this is how it looks on this side. They're not the best quality. So let's take a look at the nose wire. The standard nose wire, a little flimsy. And let's take a look at the straps. Okay. Let's take a look at the two other ones that we already tested. Okay. Well. Oh. So not the best quality so far. I'm going to get a fourth mask and we are going to put it on. So these are a kid size mask. So they could be a little on the smaller side for me. But let's go ahead and see how this fit. So they fit me really tight. Obviously, like I said, they, they're not going to fit me properly since these are a kid's face mask. So it doesn't frame my whole face. Um, it doesn't go all the way down, but these could probably be perfect for a like a five to eight age range. These are very small. With that being said, it doesn't have a significant smell. There's definitely a sort of chemical smell, but it's nothing too bad. And like I said, the nose wire, not the best, a little flimsy, so I'm not really able to get a good seal. So with that being said, we're going to see how these tests on our TSI machine. We're going to be testing both the filtration efficiency and the pressure drop. This is our TSI machine model 8130A, which is also the same filtration testing machine that NIOSH uses to approve N95 respirators. Our procedure is also inspired by NIOSH. We first run a tester setup and start removing the headband from the respirator before placing it onto the testing plate to ensure a proper seal. Then we make sure that the mask is properly and completely sealed with hot glue to the testing plate. When applying the hot melt glue, we make sure that there is no holes or leakage around the seal to ensure accurate results. The testing plate is then attached to the frame and the box is placed under the TSI filter holder for testing. The results are displayed on the TSI monitor. F stands for airflow rate, which we test at 85 liters per minute. R is for resistance, also referred to as pressure drop. This correlates with the breathability. So the lower the number, the more comfortable and breathable the mask is. E stands for filtration efficiency percentage. The first sample tested at 89.98% with a pressure drop of 9.1 millimeters of water. Second sample had a filtration percentage of 90.10 and a pressure drop of 9.4 millimeters of water. The last sample's filtration percentage was 89.40 and had a pressure drop of 10 millimeters of water. So we're back now, and as you guys saw from the TSI results, these tested well in terms of pressure drop, but they did not meet the 95% filtration efficiency, which is more concerning since these are target for children. And because of the test results, we wouldn't really be able to recommend these masks because they do not meet the K95 requirements. And also the quality of these wasn't the best as you guys saw. Some of them already came defective and the head straps just kind of come right off of them. So I really hope that you guys found this video helpful. Please let me know what masks we should test 
next. Or if you would like to send in any mask or respirator, please look at the description box down below. We're going to be having our address along with our website, which is acumen.com, and our master testing data sheet. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in our next video.